Good, Chuck. There's no doubt about it. That's not that's not somebody that, that nope. slipped on a, on a, on on someone's <laughs> right. shoe. Uh, he's 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 looking it's around there. Chuck, just for, just for a moment, and we're going to get to your movie in a minute. Right. But just that one moment in time when you were told to go back to your corner. What were you thinking when you saw Muhammad Ali lying on the canvas? Did you have an opportunity to think about anything, or was it just happening too quickly? No, it happened pretty quickly. You know, I saw him the rough way, uh, way me back to my. My corner, I went back and I said to my manager, Al, start the car, we're going to the bank for me in there. My manager said to me, you better turn around, he's getting up. He's, <laughs> he's getting up. Off. He's getting up. That's, <laughs> so, that's a great line. <laughs> you know, we're going to go over to our next graphic, and just recently, ESPN did a documentary. They do a wonderful job with their uh, 30 yes, for 30. And As a matter of fact, uh, we got a 93 rating, which is one of the highest ratings in almost... Eight years. I'm very happy with it. Wow. We got a graphic, and the, and the name of uh, uh, of that episode was The Real Rocky, and that's yep. really um, the amazing thing about it. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, we'll go over to our next graphic, and we have a black and white shot of you a lot of years ago with Sly Stallone, and he was a young guy sitting there watching that fight, and the amazing thing about your fight with Muhammad Ali, Chuck, was that... You went 15 rounds. You knocked him down in the ninth round. Right. He got up, and uh, I believe your nose was broken along the way and everything like that. But there is absolutely no question in the world that Sylvester Stallone was inspired by your fight. There's no question about it, correct? Yeah, that's correct. As a matter of fact, he admitted it, and uh, you know, he said I was the inspiration. And uh, I was very happy to hear that. You know, myself and John D.B., you know, Big John, that, he was uh, he was my advisor on that whole thing. <laughs> oh, is that right? Wait. Yeah, sure. You know oh, that. That's John right. I've been friends for many years. Him and his wife Diane. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what? You know, <laughs> give me a round of applause because yeah. you know John has actually been on our show before. He's retired down in Florida now, but uh, John. That's right. Uh, I've, I've been down there with him a couple of times. That's right. And. Uh, we thank John for uh, reaching out to you, making a call, and asking uh, for you to be our special guest tonight. And we're, uh, we're honored to have you and uh, glad to be speaking to you. And again, we know you mentioned that you have um, a corporate meeting going on. You're taking a few minutes, so yeah. we're not going to keep you uh, for too much longer. But, you know, we are going to go over to our next graphic. And again, it's another graphic of that fight in 1975. And, mm. Chuck, um, all kidding aside... We have, a, we have a graphic of you taking a blow from Muhammad Ali. And I you, took you, about 43,000 of them. I of know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, hey, Chuck, you know, you, you, look back at, you look back at your career. Um, when, when you think about the, the punishment that you took, but you also doled it out, what do you know, in retrospect, when you, when, you, when you see a young fighter today, do you have advice for him, a young guy that wants to get into the game? Do you, do you try and dissuade him and talk him out of it, or do you say, hey, go for your dream? No, I tell him to go for his dream, but I also tell these kids they got to learn to tuck more. You know, not, uh, not everybody can take the shot that I took, and uh, 37 years later being do, uh, doing a... Uh, Radio interview with you, Mike, you know that. So uh, yeah. you got to be, uh, I was always in great shape. I think that's what saved me. No question. You know, we mentioned it at the, um, the top of the show. We all know about the Sylvester Stallone movie and movies. And, I mean, it really chronicles your life without question because not only is the character of Apollo Creed we know that's Muhammad Ali. But then later on in your career, you face a wrestler, and then that's uh, Andre the Giant. And then we oh, know yeah. that in that Rocky movie. But we, but our, um, we went over to a graphic, and let's just jump right into the movie that's being made. The leading man, can you tell us, because we're looking at him now, tell us a little bit of uh, the background of Lee uh, Schreiber, please. Well, Lee Schreiber, they're, they're coming out with a movie on me uh, before the end of the year called The Bleeder. I mean, Leo Schreiber, Naomi Watts, uh, Christina Hendricks, and a few other people. As a matter of fact, uh, we've got a big meeting uh, next week with some of the investors, and we're going to try to double what uh, the movie is going to be spending, and uh, it looks very good. You know, the movie's all set, but, you know, I would really like to have a little more money than we had. I think we're 
We're at about $12 million now. We're looking to go for 25 Wow, that's a big budget. That's terrific. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Waste time. Terrific. Well, just, just look at it this way. The fighter, which won the Academy Award last year, was made for a little under five. Wow. So you yeah. can imagine that uh, we've got a pretty good budget going in. Lee of Tribe, uh, Naomi Watts, a great, great act, uh, actor and actresses. And uh, everybody's, no, no, actor. No, no, you know what? These women are so beautiful. I call them actors. Does anybody want to argue about it? Yeah. You, know, we, alley. you know what? We got we got a graphic that I think uh, Vinny in the control. If you leave it up for a while, it'd be good for the ratings. Yeah. Because that's a shot of uh, Christina Hendricks, and Isn't she, she played. She is beautiful. She's gorgeous. She's playing my wife Linda. She's playing your wife Linda. Yeah. Hey, Chuck, for a moment, please, you know, tell us about Linda. Um, the love of your life and just tell us, you know, what, you know, she means to you both in your career and to your private life. Uh, she means everything to me. I met her about 20, 20 years ago again for the second time. I had met her 16 years prior to that and we were just friends. 20 years later, I ran into her again. Uh, I mean, 16 years I ran into her again and we've been married now for going on 19 years. September, it'll be 19 years and she's great. She's so much fun and, uh, She's a very good friend of John and Diane and uh, my good friends, and uh, everything is going great for her. She's here at the meeting with me. As a matter of fact, she works for the same company that I do. Wow. Well, tell, tell, tell Linda we that we said hi, and um, I will. we're I certainly will. looking forward to the movie. There's no question about it. Definitely. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate you calling, buddy. You're great. Yeah. Now, just Chuck, just one more, a couple more things, then we're going to yeah. let you go. We're going to go over to another sure. graphic, and it looks like it's in your office, if I'm not mistaken. But we got a, you got a nice, pleasant smile on your face. In the background, you got a lamp, and underneath it, it says "Champ." It looks like it's probably a license yeah. plate of some kind. I can yeah, see yeah. the Sports Illustrated. <laughs> yeah. But you want to know yeah, what well, caught uh, my? I'm going to tell you what caught my eye because uh, we have a lot of Yankee fans mm -hmm. that watch this oh. show, and you have. Happen to have a Yankee T-shirt on now. I have to ask you a question: yeah. Are you a true Yankee fan, or is it just a T-shirt that you? How about how about 65 years? I uh, saw my what? first game when I was nine years. years old on a round screen TV at a woman's house called Jean Miskevich, and that's the first that I fell in love. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe DiMaggio was around then, and uh, my that's favorite of all fan. time was Mickey Mantle. Wow, I got to that's, a true, Mantle that's a true fan. That's a true fan. I've been a great, great <laughs> Yankee fan. As a matter of fact, I'll be watching a game tonight at 10 o'clock and playing the athletic. <laughs> wow. The Open Ch athletic. That's what, that, that's what kind of fan I am. Wow. I know when they're playing, where they're playing, and I'll be watching. Wow, Chuck, I was a big fan of yours. Now I'm even bigger. And now, so you watch all the games. Well, what do you think of, you know, you were in the boxing game in the 70s, you know, and then the 80s, and now you nice. look uh, you look at these guys making the big bucks uh, now in the boxing game. You look at baseball players, and A-Rod makes more in one game than Mickey Mantle, who you mentioned, made in an entire year. When you, as a retired athlete, when you look at uh, sports in general, uh, what are your thoughts? you shake your head in terms of how much money they make, or uh, you know, what are your know. thoughts when you see athletes? Not at all. I'm happy for them. You know, I'm always happy to see somebody else do good, and I never begrudge anybody any anything. You know, A-Rod is a, a great player. He's not having a great year so far, but you know what? He is a great player. So is Mickey, and, you know, I was very fortunate. I was a friend of George Seinbrenn as I got to meet George the boy, and uh, you know, I loved the Yankees all my life. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Now, they built a palace. Do you like the new Yankee Stadium better? Do you like the old Yankee Stadium better? What's, you know, what's your takeaway from where the Yankees are now? Are these the golden years or were the 50s the golden years? Because there's a lot of success going on now. How do you compare it to 50s, 60s, Dimaj, Mantle, and now A-Rod, Jeter, Mariano, etc.? Well, the, the 50s, 60s were great, but this is a great year for the Yankees. They're having a great year. I love the new stadium. I like the old stadium, but you know what? You have to have progress no matter where you go. You got to keep building, keep fixing, keep making things better. And the Yankees certainly have done that. And uh, I think they're all the way this year, win it all. Let's hope. Ah, beautiful. Let's hope. Let's hope.